A southbound purple jet is climbing to flight level 260, its requested cruising level. Meanwhile, an eastbound green jet is maintaining flight level 270. The routes of the two aircraft are expected to cross with a horizontal separation of less than one nautical mile. While passing flight level 230, the purple jet has a high vertical rate of 3,500 feet per minute. When it passes through flight level 245, both aircraft receive a traffic advisory against the other. A few seconds later, the purple jet receives a level off, level off RA when it passes flight level 250. The crew stops the climb and levels off. At the same time, the green jet receives a climb, climb RA. The crew starts climbing to achieve 1,500 feet per minute. When they cross each other with a vertical separation of 2,000 feet, both crews receive a clear of conflict message. As a result of the RAs, the purple jet leveled off at flight level 254 and the green jet climbed to flight level 274, departing from its cleared level. That means that the green jet could have caused a follow-up conflict with another aircraft. Why did this happen? TCOS calculates the risk of collision solely based on the closing speed and vertical rates. It doesn't know the cleared levels. And because the purple jet approached the cleared level with a high vertical rate, it predicted a conflict, even though the ATC instructions were followed correctly. To avoid these kinds of unnecessary RAs, ICAO recommends that whenever pilots are aware of another aircraft at an adjacent flight level, they should reduce the vertical rate to 1,500 feet per minute before they reach 1,000 feet from the cleared level, unless otherwise specified in air traffic control instructions. Learn more about TCAS RAs due to high vertical rates on Skybury.